DFT that is discrete Fourier transform. We have studied DTFT so this topic become easier to understand. In case of DTFT, discrete time Fourier transform. This is a continuous function in frequency and it is also periodic with period 2 pi. The representation is in math mathematically it is represented as let xn is a discrete time signal whose Fourier transform is x of e j omega. Right and the formula for this x of e j omega is equals to summation xn e to the minus j omega n and the limit is from minus infinity to plus in infinity. Now let us suppose that this xn is defined for a finite sequence of values. up to 0 to n minus 1 right then this expression this equation 1 can be written as x of e j omega is equals to summation n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x n e to the power minus j omega n right if you calculate the Fourier transform for this given function it will be x of e j omega now let us suppose this representation graphically can be understood as this is the magnitude spectrum that we will have after solving this expression number 2. It will be like this. Okay. At omega equals to 0, the value is 0 suppose. At omega equals to pi the value is this at omega equals to 2 pi the value is this and the same waveform will repeat after every 2 pi interval why it is repeating after every 2 pi interval because dtft is periodic with period 2 pi right now let us suppose that this equation number 2 this equation number 2 that is x of e j omega is equals to summation 0 to n minus 1 x n e to the power minus j omega n. You have to represent this function for omega equals to 0 to 2 pi. The representation will be because I am mentioning that you have to represent this function in between 0 to 2 pi. The representation will be like this. Okay, 0, this is pi and this is 2 pi. This is x of e j omega. Okay, right. Now, when we talk about DFT, DFT is discrete Fourier transform. So, when you have to analyze the frequency properties of a discrete time signal, this can be done by this representation because this is the frequency domain representation. So, you have to analyze the frequency properties of a discrete time signal using digital computer digital computer or DSP processors. DSP is digital signal process processors. So this representation is not a convenient method because digital computer or DSP processors deal with the digital signals only. As the original signal is XN is in discrete nature. So to analyze the frequency of this discrete time signal the frequency representation should also be in the discrete representation so how can we convert this 
discrete uh, this continuous representation into a discrete representation this is done by using a process called sampling right sampling is basically a process which converts a continuous time signal into a discrete time signal here in this process we multiply the impulse train with the continuous time function in in the way i am representing let us suppose this is a continuous time function xt is a continuous time function if i have to make it discrete i i will multiply this with a impulse train and these impulses are equally spaced whatever will be the domain equally spaced in the domain which is specified right when we multiply this function with this function we will have a discrete function and the uh, amplitude of each impulses will vary according to this function so in the similar way we will make this continuous function discrete using the process called sampling right so how we will make it we will put n number of samples 0 to 2 pi x of e j omega is this right so in between 0 to 2 pi we will put n number of samples n number of samples why we are putting n number of samples the number of samples should equal to the length of the original signal that is x n the length let us suppose the length of the signal length of the signal x n is n then number of samples that we put in between 0 to 2 pi will also be n you have to keep it in mind it should be same same number of samples we will put in between 0 to 2 pi right so the if we will put the n number of samples then this representation will become this and this x of e j omega becomes e j omega k right and the representation will be like this Zero to n minus one. We will not consider this function here because it is repeating. It is repeating after every two pi interval. So we will consider this domain only. Okay, and this representation is called as D F T. discrete fourier transform right so mathematically it will be written as x of e j omega k is equals to summation x n e to the power minus j omega becomes omega k and omega can be written as 2 pi by n k n n this n is from 0 to n minus 1 now this is a discrete representation of dtft and this discrete representation of dtft is dft discrete fourier transform right now from this representation if you want to reconstruct this x n what should be the formula the formula becomes x n is equals to 1 by n summation k equals to 0 to n minus 1 x k e to the power j 2 pi k n divided by n and this n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 this is 
आई डी टी एफ टी आई डी टी एफ टी इज नॉट आई डी टी एफ टी इट इज आई डी एफ टी आई डी आई डी एफ टी इज इनवर्स डिस्क्रीट फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड डी टी डी एफ टी इज दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इज इक्वल्स टू समेशन एन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू एन माइनस वन एक्स एन ई टू दावर जे टू पाई के एन अपॉन एन माइनस राइट एंड वी आर पुटिंग दी सैम्पल्स इन बिटवीन जीरो टू टू पाई एंड दी नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स इज जीरो टू एंड दी नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल इज एन सो द लिमिट फॉर के विल बी जीरो टू एन माइनस वन राइट दिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न एज एक्स ऑफ के इन डी एफ टी सो वी कैन रिप्लेस दिस फंक्शन बाय दिस फंक्शन एक्स ऑफ के सो इट विल बी एक्स ऑफ के राइट सो यू हैव टू लर्न दिस फॉर्मूला एंड this formula this is dft and this is i dft so using these two formulas you can solve various problems based on dft and i dft right so consider one example in this example let us suppose xn is a sequence xn is a sequence that is वन टू थ्री फोर फॉर दिस गिवन सीक्वेंस यू हैव टू फाइंड द डी एफ टी हाउ यू विल फाइंड द डी एफ टी फॉर दिस फंक्शन राइट द फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला फॉर डी एफ टी इज एक्स ऑफ के इज इक्वल्स टू समेशन एन इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू एन माइनस वन एक्स एन ई टू दावर माइनस जे ओमेगा k n upon n, where n is the number of samples in x n, right? so number of samples in x n are फोर so n minus वन will equals to थ्री so this formula will equals to x of k is equals to summation n is equals to जीरो to n minus वन x n e to the power माइनस जे माइनस जे ओमेगा के एन अपॉन फोर राइट एंड दिस लिमिट विल ऑल्सो इक्वल्स टू थ्री फॉर के इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू एन माइनस वन एंड एन माइनस वन इज थ्री सो के विल ऑल्सो extend from 0 to 3 now you have to solve this expression okay now how you will solve this expression you have to open this expression you will open it in this manner x of k is equals to x 0 e to the power माइनस जे ओमेगा के इंटू जीरो बाई फोर प्लस नेक्स्ट एन इक्वल्स टू वन एन एक्स ऑफ वन इज इक्वल्स टू ई टू दिवर माइनस जे ओमेगा के इंटू वन बाय फोर प्लस एक्स ऑफ टू ई टू दिवर माइनस जे ओमेगा के इंटू टू बाय फोर प्लस x of थ्री ई टू दिवर माइनस जे ओमेगा के इंटू थ्री बाई फोर राइट फॉर के इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू थ्री ओके नाउ वॉट विल बी द नेक्स्ट स्टेप योर नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी यू हैव टू फाइंड दी डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स के this different values of x k at k equals to 0 2 3 so at k equals to 0 the expression becomes 
this expression this expression becomes k at k equals to 0 x of 0 is equals to is equals to x of 0 e to the power it becomes 0 it becomes 0 plus x of 1 e to the power minus j omega at k equals to 0 k equals to 0 it becomes 0 0 right divided by 4 in the similar way x of 2 e to the power minus j omega into 0 into 2 by 4 plus x of 3 e to the power minus j omega into 0 into 3 by 4 as this is 0 in all so in every case it becomes e to the power 0 e to the power 0 is 1 and the value of capital x0 will be x0 is the value of xn at n is equals to 0 at n equals to 0 the value of xn is the xn the given xn is the given xn is this is your xn this is your given xn this is your given xn i am writing here xn is xn is 1 2 3 4 this is your given xn so at n equals to 0 the x0 is 1 plus e to the power 0 is 1 x of 1 is 2 plus e to the power 0 is 0 x of 2 is 3 x of 3 is 4 then it will be 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 is 10 right in the similar way you will calculate x of 1 x of 2 and x of 3 when you will calculate x of 1 then it becomes 2 plus j2 x of 2 becomes minus 2 and x of 3 becomes minus 2 minus 2j this is the dtft this is the dtft sorry not dtft this is dft for this given discrete time signal okay Thank you.